hello everyone welcome back and if this is your first time welcome aboard thank you for joining chocolate honey's rocky's chocolate honey i am chocolate honey aka rocky porter it is time for you to subscribe so that i can get my shine on for you baby yes i can get my shine on for you all mm -mm. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, would you please? You already know you're gonna like this video. Hey. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. Now, today's foundation, we I am going to be featuring Revlon Photo Finish Insta Filter Foundation. It's touted to be medium to full coverage. Um, now, right off the bat, it is a drugstore foundation. And with that being said, come on, Revlon. Y'all need to get... They full of themselves. I think this is like, depending on where you... Which drugstore, Walmart, or Walgreens, CVS you purchase it from. It ranges anywhere between seven, sixteen to $18. Really? Really? I guess they figure by justifying the price... You know, I figure they throw in this little sponge that comes attached with it i guess they figured that's how they can justify the price however in my opinion no uh on the little sponge it's a nice concept however i feel that's very unsanitary even though more than likely you're you know the foundation the sponge is only going to be touch touching your face but before you finish this bottle i would hope you wash your sponge before this bottle is finished okay so that's why i say mm -mm. if you want us to have a sponge that's great just Put the sponge in the package separately, you know, and let us, that way it's not attached and we can wash it. But this way, anyway, no said, no said, no said about that. Let's shake it up. Mm -mm, you know how we do. We got to shake, 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 shake foundation. Shake, shake, shake. We got to, let's shake it up. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Woo, woo, shake it up. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm going to say. Okay, let's do this. Now, this is my, I'm going to say my first time, look at this, see, and the sponge is, in my, it's hard, it's awkward, um, no, no, oh, I don't know if I told y'all, this is the shade 450 Mocha, yeah, um, hmm, uh, look at that, I don't know about Oh, you're supposed to twist it. <laughs> I told you it's my first time using it. You twist it up, dot it on. Mm, mm -mm. No. I know I'm probably putting too much on. Oh, uh -uh. No. And for 18 bucks, 16 to 18 depending on where you purchase. And I know you're paying for the... Um, for the sponge being attached but like i said if they want us to have a sponge all they need to do is um i'd feel much better if they would just put the sponge in a package you know don't but anyway i'm gonna use a, a brush y'all know i'm a brush person i'm all about the brush life um not really down with applying foundation with you know some foundations like when i do stick foundations and cream foundations yes i do use the sponge because they're thicker and will not um won't not so much of it bl um, blend i mean uh, soak up won't be soaked up by the sponge but liquidy foundations like this yeah it's a little liquid i didn't show y'all well i don't know if you can see can you see that it's not See, it's not real runny. It's not real thick. But anyway, uh, we're going to test it out. Like I said, this is like a first impression. It's my first time really using it. I think I may have touched it. I mean, not really used it, but swatched it. That's why the sponge was dirty because I swatched it just to see the shade. So, but I haven't used it, used it. Look, mm. It says medium to full. I'm going to say just plain medium. I don't see no full. Because see. If it was full. And I know buildable to full. Let's try. Let's shake it up a little bit more. 
because see I have my dark spots underneath and see I'm finding myself I know that's not all I'm having to use too much of this to cover up my dark spots around my chin area yeah I don't like that oh and um, I forgot to tell you all I already primed I was already my face was already primed when I came on camera and I used my holy grail Becca poreless ever matte ever matte poreless perfection primer um, is what I used I normally do not use this primer in the winter um, because it is a heavy duty I mean not heavy duty as in thickness but heavy duty as in uh, Fort Knox primer it 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 locks it down as very drying and very mattifying I do have oily skin um, and even for me with oily skin I usually don't use it in the winter because most people skin mine included during the winter ha our skin has a tendency to get a little drier even us oily people get dry skin during the winter at least I do anyway and so I don't use that primer with my heavy duty foundations when I say heavy duty foundations I mean like my Kat Von D Urban Decay um, um, what's another one Estee Lauder those types of foundations because they are already full coverage and already mattifying I do not use them that particular um, primer because it'll be too too dry and I it have me looking cakey yes a dry an oily skin person looking cakey yep it will in the winter time it sure will have me looking cakey let me see if I turn this light out mm, then you can't see me okay I'm just testing something just testing something out here. Yeah, I'm not going to put too many coats on. Let me look in the big mirror. I can't really tell. Mm, okay, it's not bad. It looks actually looks better in person than it does on the camera. I have to admit, it's mattifying. And I have a feeling that's probably coming from my... Um, I know it's coming from my uh, primer that I use. Because that Becca primer mattifies everything so yeah it looks a heck of a lot it looks it's smoothing it does look photo finished photo ready like i can snap baby snap a picture that is not snap as in go off on people no no no, no. okay now sorry about that video got cut off camera got cut off but what i've done already that you have missed i've used my estee lauder pressed powder um, in the shade 71C. I use that to contour, do a little contour. And I have put on a little, I put on a little bit of, hold on just a second, because that's going to annoy me if I don't take care of it now. There we go. And I've put on, I have a Colored Rain pressed powder eyeshadow in the shade going steady hold on just a minute color pop press powder eyeshadow and the shade is going steady right here I think it was like five bucks something like that I thought I purchased a little magnetic pan for it to go in I guess I didn't but anyway um, I used that and it's very pigmented all I did was just a little tap and I got a lot of payoff I mean enough to do both cheeks and okay, now that we got the uh, primer, the foundation, the blush, the contour. Okay, now we're going to move on to... <clears throat> I'm wondering if I ought to try this. I'm, I think I am. This is a Revlon Color Stay Setting Powder. I'm going to give it a shot. I have a damp sponge here. Let me see what this... It's supposed to be translucent. We'll see what it looks like. Make sure you have a damp sponge. Oh, I didn't show it to you. Anyway, yeah, this is Revlon Color Stay. I've had this for years. I hope that's what it is because the all the information on the back has been rubbed off. I've had it for years, never used it. Well, I did use it, but not as much. But it's been so long ago, I can't remember what it was like. So I thought I'd try it now since I'm using um and I think for a setting spray, since I don't seem to have my Ben Nye, which is odd. Why is my Ben Nye not in here? 
that's weird so I'm never without my Ben Nye final seal I guess I was in a big hurry I think I'll use Kat Von D setting spray and this looks a little even though it has a little tint to it it's still a little too light for me so I tell you what I'm gonna do let me grab my makeup bag uh, see let's use some Kat Von D you know what I'm gonna save that for I'm gonna use this D slick I'm gonna use this Urban Decay all-nighter D slick for now then I'll come back with the Kat Von D. Woo! 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 Shake it up! We're going to see how this stuff stays. Alrighty now. Rock steady, baby, because I want to use my um... I want to use um beauty baker again yesterday i used on my other video when i with the uh when i showcased the urban decay video i got a little carried away <laughs> with the beauty bakery setting powder so this time i want to try beauty bakery again setting powder again but I'm, i have to remember to be very light-handed now normally what i do um trying to let this dry Woo, woo, woo. okay normally what I do with my powders okay let me show you I put them in little bottles like this this is this is my Ben Nye topaz setting powder and see look at the top see that I put lotions in here in this kind of bottle this travel bottle it's a three ounce travel bottle so it's just the right size for flying you know carry on for an airplane but I usually transfer my setting powders into that into one of these containers so see when i get home this is the beauty bakery translucent um brown um setting powder i'm gonna put in one of these bottles like this because it's and i'll show you one of the reasons why look at this check this out and i know this is my fault because unlike most um setting loose setting powders this does come with you know how it has that little plastic that covers the holes the shaker holes this also comes with the little thing you turn like a salt shaker to cover the holes but i forgot yours truly forgot to turn the thingy to cover the holes after i took the plastic cover off and now look all my powder has come to the surface you see yeah it's a big mess so that's why i usually and most loose powders don't have that little turn thing to cover the holes but this one did I just forgot to turn it to close it but that's all right because when I get home I'm going to transfer it into one of these bottles right here and I use this bottle for certain liquids or, or certain stuff like right now I have some um, raw apple cider vinegar in this bottle and it has the screw cap you know there's no spout on the top I'll do a separate video about all the many uses for raw apple cider vinegar I'll do another video with that and then this I spray bottle and I'm doing all three of these for a reason I'll tell you about in a minute this is another three ounce bottle it has a sprayer that comes with it um, and I put like this right now it has this regular distilled vinegar in it okay but I also have one of these that has um, rubbing alcohol in it um, so you can put all kind of stuff but they all three come in a package I got them at the dollar store three for a dollar they come in one clear package they come in a package three for a dollar you can't beat that or some of the packages may have two of these and one sprayer or they may have two of these and one sprayer you know with this kind of spout but see I like this kind of spout for my powders and I put lotions hand lotions and stuff in here creams face creams uh, cleansers body wash I put in here is just easier which I have a little one that's a little bit bigger that I put the body wash in but it has the same kind of cap squeeze cap like that it's just easier and since I travel that way I don't have to carry the big bottle same with shampoo conditioner you can put in these and like I said they have the bigger bottles um, I'll show you oh 
duh <laughs> i forgot i moved it to right here hold on hope i don't mess up the camera i shouldn't have said it okay and here's another here's another kind got this from the dollar no i think this was a walmart got this from walmart um it was like a dollar by itself too much and these hold on i'm getting it i'm getting it this right here i got a pink one this green one and a blue another blue or purple purple one and these came see these are a little bigger than these see but i got these i can't remember i think these may have come from walmart also they may have, may have been like a dollar fifty two dollars three in a pack there were three in a pack um and i think dollar store do no anyway i either got them from the dollar store for a dollar or got them from walmart for like dollar 97 three in a pack for dollar 97 something like that but that's what i do all right now let's move on this should be should have been then dried enough now let me put a little bit of this loose setting powder in the cap just a tad bit take a damp sponge right here damp sponge and we're going to hold on because I can feel my face I can feel it it's hot in here okay I can feel my face okay here we go we're just gonna dab it press you want to press it into the skin press and pat it into the skin to help it stay and the warmth of your body your body temperature will help melt it into the skin and I'll go back in a minute and I'll use the brush to buff it out you know buff it make so it'll be flawless and everything but just hold on and like I said this is Now let me take my big fluffy brush, big fluffy brush, right here. This is this is just an elf fluffy elf brush. We're gonna blend all that in, dust off the excess powder, blend in that extra excess blush. Got a little carried away. Well, I didn't get carried away. With the blush is just because I just barely tapped the blush the pout the brush into the blusher and I got a major payoff but we gotta blend like no tomorrow we don't want to look cakey because I'm gonna ready to spray some cat 1d setting spray to set it off baby yeah let's see let me move this light so y'all can I think maybe you might be able to see maybe not I was trying to okay so you can see a little better see them? anyway now let's use a little Kat Von D locket setting spray it's another fairly decent I can't remember how much this is but I got it from Sephora It's very, very fine. It smells like watermelon rind. <laughs> it smells like watermelon rind. Not, it's not strong, but very faint hint of watermelon. Well, actually, the watermelon rind, not not the watermelon, watermelon, but the rind. And it's very fine mist. Doesn't even feel like it's cooling. Feels good. That's why I kept spraying. <laughs> that's why I got a little overboard. But anyway, that's all, folks. And like I said, today's foundation featuring Revlon photo ready insta filter uh, foundation and this is the color this is shade 450 mocha and I use the Revlon color stay setting powder okay it's supposed to be translucent color stay and I use beauty bakeries 
setting powder to set it off for setting sprays hold on let me put the cap on this setting powder on this beauty whoa bakery setting powder before I go before I lift it up because I know how things can get with me okay I use beauty baker beauty bakeries flower setting powder it's very fine very very it's more fine than um than baby powder it's a lot more fine than that so that tells you a dab will do all you need is just a little bit a little bit will do you and okay I told you about the Kat Von D setting spray and I used another oh the D slick setting spray the urban decay all-nighter urban decay all-nighter setting spray I use that so we're gonna see how this works out I'll check in with y'all in a little bit bye have a blessed day folks